นักวิ่งเป็นไงพร้อมไหมสู้ไหมยังไม่ได้นอนเลยกลับไปนอนก่อนห้าสี่สามสองหนึ่งThe hills get so steep. Just no point in trying to keep running because you lose more energy than it's worth. So yeah, I've got a bit of a stitch. I'm not feeling great. So just trying to keep controlled um, and keep the kilometers ticking along. So on two of my 5k sections, I'm just going to focus on 10 to 15 now and not think too much beyond that. I think that's the best strategy in this unknown situation. Just focus on being in the present. Might be a bit lighter next time. I literally cannot see anything right now. It's like 13 and a half kilometers in. Walking up a hill because it's so dark. No idea how long it goes on for. It's quite scary. I think this should be better lit, or and they told us not to take a head torch, but not ideal. This section's going really well until this part, but staying chill as much as I can for someone who hates the dark. <sighs> There's light ahead at 15k. Uh, that was tough. That's three kilometers in that section. And then it was just in the pitch black dark, uphill. Uh, ooh, felt really out of my comfort zone. Um, now going downhill, which is slight improvement. It's starting to get light, so hopefully things will get better. Questioning my choices right now. Okay. To show you oh, the trees are in the way sunrise is here it looks incredible over the mountains just about 18 and a half k can you see it Okay, over 20k now. We're going strong. 
but my friend here. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Richard. Richard. Uh, I'm officer of uh, Shell. Oh wow. Uh, Shell. 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 Okay. Just trying to keep focused. <laughs> Be positive up the hills and then enjoy the downhill. But we're over 20k now, so getting there. That's what you get. Yeah. 20.6. Okay, that was a good stint of running, but very difficult on the mind because there's lots of downhill. I've got no clue if I have to go back up it, so half enjoying it, half terrified. Um, oh, tummy hurts a bit, hips are starting to ache, 26k in, so it's got a fight on to the end. This is hard in jail. Not gonna lie, this race is pretty much broken me so hard my right hip is really hurting I think I might have an injury uh, 2k to go ease though running up this dam at 29 kilometers was brutal this is so hard I've never done anything like this on the road before. Flipping it. I can see the finish line. Thank everything. Oh my god. Burr broken. I might never see this again. Here comes Mare. Okay. Here she comes. Big finish, big finish. Look happy. Is that horrible? Finally found her. Stretching. You had a hard one, right? I don't know if I my footage will look quite positive because I was trying so hard, but by the end, I was broken. I was a broken woman. We'll pick it apart. I won't. I won't kind of go into detail here because I know how much you're suffering and struggling. But it does look like we're going to have two more obnoxiously large trophies to take. <laughs> I mean. First. We fought, I fought for that. Did first and first. Did you fight? Yeah, even though I got lost. I have actually tried to disqualify myself and they said they're happy with what I've done, so... I, um, you know, what can you do? That race nearly broke me, but I beat it. Yeah, Just. well done. Okay. Okay. A bit of life back in me, not much, but a little bit. Oh my goodness, that nearly broke me. Um, just, just needed to get the finish line at the end. It's Found that so hard and like it was hurting. Hip hop. But I'm very happy I've done it. Proud that I've done it. And I'm very happy I've done it. And I'm very happy I've done it. Very used to hanging around for Mary, getting her awards nowadays. There she is.
Coffee me up, girl. Coming up. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. It is not even nine o'clock. We've run 32 kilometers, received some enormous trophies, and now we're heading back. <sighs> the things you do, hey? Oh, that's a trophy, isn't it, Mary? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, watch my eyes. Pretty spectacular. It's, um, yeah, it's certainly one of the more interesting trophies that you've received, isn't it? Yeah. Of your trophy cabinet. Okay, well done. Um, yeah, it was actually uh, quite a good experience despite everything that happened to us, wasn't it? Let's put this out of the way because it's like, it's a bit clunky. <laughs> Um, yeah, why don't you talk through your race quickly, like, what, what what do you think were the high points, low points, things that happened, you know, you didn't get lost like me. I didn't get lost. Um, I felt like I was, it was a real battle towards the end, but actually, so I finished, I finished, I finished or ended thinking, oh, this is hideous, I could never do this again. But when I think about the whole race, that really only came on in the last four kilometres, I think. Most of the race I felt pretty positive. Um, I broke it down into sections. Yep. So I did like four 5K sections and a 2K section, which was a really good technique. What? Six 5K sections. You're not gonna make a math teacher. Six 5K, I just... It, so excited it was, about it. It was a week ago and I... <laughs> yeah, six 5K sections and a 2K section. It's 32 kilometers. Um, which really helped to just break it down and not overthink the distance. No. Um, it was hard, it was really hard and it was so hot. How's your injury? That's that's the main thing here, like yeah. how are you feeling now? You've run a couple of times, so it's, it's, a, it's a little bit later in the week now, it's nearly a week since the race. Yeah. So how are you feeling? How's that injury? It's fine. Yeah. I think it was actually, like both my hips were really aching but I think it was a lack of strength because I haven't been doing my strength training. Yeah, so what so, have you committed to? Strength training. Strength training, yes. Absolutely. I did Pilates this morning. You did, you did Pilates today, didn't you? Yeah, so. um, I've just got to do more strength work for those hills, but um, luckily I was aching for, I didn't run until Thursday, um, and I was really aching and had a real strain on the front of my ankle, and it bruised. So. I, I got a bit battered in that race, fair to say. A, but, you um, know, a hilly road race is something that we haven't actually, I've not actually experienced ever. Yeah, like, I never thought I'd It's very myself, different, isn't it? Like, that's my worst idea of a race, to be honest. But it, well, it's not as bad as you think. No. And it, never, it never is. That's the message here. It is never as bad as you think. Sometimes it can get pretty bad. But I don't think it's as bad as you think. Or in the moment when you reflect yeah. later on, you go, oh, do you know what? You get through it and then it's over and then you do feel awesome for doing it. Um, yeah, as you should. Shall I sign up again for next year? <laughs> no, it was, yeah, it was a tough race, but again, lovely people and a good experience. Yeah. Um, and a, another piece of the jigsaw for yeah. me of building this, a runner with more experience. Yeah, of doing different things, different races, different terrains. You know, I've never done that either, like a, a 32 kilometre race on road. Yeah, and that will be such a good training run for the trail race next weekend. Yes, so what's coming up? Wang Chan. Wang Chan. So you, you have a 25 kilometre trail race in Rayong next weekend. I'm doing the 50 kilometre ultra marathon with John, with Mikey, with Tom. Um, who I don't think you've met properly yet, so we'll introduce you to Tom oh, next week. he was week. at the end of the... He was at the end of the Bangkok Marathon, yeah. uh, half marathon, but so, so Tom's running that and Lawrence is doing the half marathon. So look, we've got a little crew going down to Rayon to do this race next week, which is really exciting. I do yeah. love a little group weekend away of runners. Um, it's, quite, it's quite good for the soul. Mary, um, I'm going to put you under pressure for a sign-off. Okay? okay. Because it's going to have to be a quick, short, punchy one. Yeah, we've got to go. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna link you two videos to watch right now, all right? The first one is going to be about training for a marathon because the run that we just did was 32 kilometers, which is usually the longest run I 
suggest roughly for training for a marathon. So an ultimate marathon training plan if you got into the London Marathon or any marathon. There's a training plan. And also Mary's first ultra marathon I've linked you to, which was uh, last year and a fantastic kind of experience for you, wasn't it? Yeah, really special. So would you like to sign off, Mary? Sure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my race. See you soon. Oh, hit me there. See you later. Bye. You don't need to do that bit. <laughs> I like it. I think it's good. But it didn't cover you. No, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't actually cover the camera. Bye. <laughs>